second fiddle to Hicker Elliott over many years. Keep an eye on Mark Abbott at lock. And in the backs, Ehire West, Gillies Kaka, the X Factor in the back line. Only one change to the reserves. Ben Franks is on all black jersey, uh, duty in Hamilton, replaced by Pirates prop Adrian Baroni. Here they are, the Shield holders, 44 years. They lost it the 27th of September 1969 to Canterbury. And it's back now in Magpie country. And what a week it's been for this side, for this province, as the Teokti College boys from Southern Hawke's Bay Haka the team on to the field, Mike Coleman. Here he is, listen to the roar from the The fans in this packed stadium this afternoon. Very impressive Mark Elliott last week in Dunedin. Mark Atkins, I should say, outstanding player. Very physical, forms a very good loose forward trio with O'Connor and Captain Coman. So the two teams are out there. Hawks Bay has dominated recent matches between these two teams, but it obviously means absolutely nothing as they line up with 80 minutes in front of them. Jonathan White is our referee for this big Ranfilly Shield match. Marty Hance and Stuart Catley, his assistants. And Bruce Dockery the is the man who will make the decisions if required. So perfect conditions. Last Sunday, Hawke's Bay won the Shield. And now just six days later, it's on the line once again. He was very good to Ehi West, a shot of them. There he is. Huge day for it. Picker Elliott, back in the ground that he's played so many times for. Mike. Fritz. So, Jonathan Fritz. White checking with the two teams. They are ready to go here at Fritz. McLean Park in Napier. First defence of the Ranfilly Shield in this era by Hawks Bay. And it comes from County's Manukau. And Ehi West gets us going with a nice high kick. Uh, taken down well by, by Jimmy Tupo for County's Manukau. Now Pulu works it across. And the skipper, Fritz Lee, it's going back inside the 22. And very nearly charged down as Kerr gets his kick in. And nicely taken down by uh, Atkins. Not afraid to run at the opposition either. And does so. Got almost to halfway. Taken down by Elliott. So it's there now for Albie Mathewson and West. And just testing each other out, these two teams uh, early on. And that was Adam Cathcart taking it and uh, the kick made. And this time it is in touch. Guilford wants to keep it going though. And he gets it away to West. And uh, another kick coming up here. And it's just a little game of force back here to see who can get some territorial gain out of it. Now West was uh, held up and oh it's been stolen away and Hawks Bay have got the turnover. So here's a real opportunity as it's handed down by Allardyce. Now Guilford keeping it away from the touchline and uh, Matthewson again. And uh, he goes short this time and nice drive there by Dixon. Oh intercept by Raymakers and the kick made by Pulu and there's uh, nobody home here. Now, the bounce will be interesting, but West is good enough and quick enough to get back. And he gets it across to his fullback, Gillies Kaka. And this long opening sequence uh, continues. Plenty of kicking going on. Now, here's an opportunity for Tony Pulu out on the left wing side. Gave it away to Bundy Arkey. Now, here's a real opportunity. Pops it on the inside. And uh, it's with by Pulu. And County's on a bit of a roll now as they swing it wide. It goes across to. Uh, Halai, now here's Elliott, taking a good tackle, but a real opportunity here for County's Manukau early in the game as Lee goes ploughing ahead, six or seven metres away. Now Pulu passes uh, just on the ground for a moment, and that's forward. Forward pass from Baden-Kerr. 
And that brings that long opening sequence of over two minutes to an end. Well, the Shield tenure has started at McLean Park and both teams, outstanding start here. And this is where, watch Tony Pulu just get on the outside there of Vianu okay, and pops it up for Bundyaki, the Chiefs midfielder. Good play here. Gee, they look good, just didn't they? Speed, guys, Fritz Lee. Slow. And just Very came that came through at the end. It was Very a final slow. afforded pass in the end here from Baden Kerr. Gee, Smithy, good start. Yeah, there's the danger. There is the danger of that dangerous midfield for Counties Monaco with that, all that Super 15 experience. Yep. At Frank Hiler, Alloy outside them as well. Uh, Hawks Bay are guarded against that, those kicking opportunities. Whilst they're there, they've Crouch. got to be a little bit more accurate. The chase has got to be better. And there they are, the midfield of Ray Lilo, Bundyaki, Frank Halai, Baden Kerr, all four have played super rugby, all four have played big match rugby. And that is an important factor when you play shield rugby. Important first scrum. Crouch. Bind. Okay, fellas. I want you ear to ear, but you're not head to head, okay? You need to both sort that out. Come in and you come out. Left, I know, left side of the mark. You need to move across both of you, okay? So, yeah, yeah. Brendan Edmonds on this side, the loose head side of this Hawks Bay scrum. Against uh, Jared Firth, who's a 21 year old himself. So, a couple of youngsters going head to head here. Good build, too, hasn't he? Firth on this side, the tight head side. We know Crouch. about Elliot Lamalu played many games for Kunti's Monaco. Good, good front row. Set. Yes, nine. So LB Matthewson rolls it in. And they'll be keen to clear it away from their 22. And Seven. West does just that. And drifting towards the touchline. And it's a good one in the finish. There it is. The Rantley Shield, 111 years since Lord Rantfully donated it. And what has that meant to this province this week? The same as it did to Otago. Line out time, Elliot has to get his throws right early. Oh, he's throwing it down the wrong line. Old habits die hard. As uh, Hawks Bay win the turnover and uh, nicely taken forward by Brendan O'Connor. And the penalty. Well, Adam, Adam Cathcart, sorry, Ms. Adam Cathcart, brilliant. Counties Manukau, number six. Outstanding play, over the top. A little bit exposed there. Let's have a look. Not a good line-out throw from Elliot. Coming around there was Allardyce with the ball. O'Connor going in, exposed, isolated. Great win for Counties Manukau. And they're going to have a kick at goal too, Coach. So Baden Kerr, they're thrilled to have their best goal kicker back. And this is uh, around 52 metres on a slight angle. So uh, maybe there's a, a hint of a sea breeze behind him, which has convinced them to have a go here. But first chances there for Counties Manukau. Well, they're keeping the crowd quiet, and that's the key. Hawks Bay, the Magpies would have been looking for an explosive start in front of this massive crowd here in Napier. And uh, Baden Kerr, a good man to have in a shield game and a challenge. He's a very accurate goal kicker. He's got a big hematoma. You can see the left legs heavily, heavily strapped. But a key player back in the county's Manukau team this afternoon. And oh, what a kick! What a tremendous kick from Baden Kerr. And uh, County's Manukau draw first blood in the game and lead by three to nil. Went for a little wander with Ian Smith before the game, and it is quite heavy. Obviously, a little bit of rain here in the Hawks Bay. And, uh, but he did slip there with the left the plant foot, but an outstanding kick from 52 metres. Six and a half minutes gone in the Shield match, and West kicks it off, and it's taken down by Raymakers, four counties. Now Pulu works it away, moved on by Vaipulu. And they're quite happy to use their good back line. And here's an opportunity down the left once again for Tony Pulu. Loose ball is grabbed by Lee. Halfback slips over, recovers quickly as Kerr feeds it out. Here's Elliott, pops the pass nicely. And happy to keep the ball alive. And Kerr now. 
And a little kick and chase by Hadley, and waiting for it patiently to go into touch is Kaka. Viano coming on on the blind side. Quick play to back to West, and away goes West. Well, the counties would have said that the line out had already formed, but they let it go. So Kerr takes it and lobs it away into midfield. Kicked away by Shu and Stowers. Now Richard Buckman. Both keen teams very keen to play in the opposite half. Now that's been taken back inside the 22, so the kick coming. And it's good enough. Yeah, it looks like some running repairs on a Hawks Bay player down there, Smithy. And a penalty, silly penalty too. Hooker Elliott, no need for that at all. Jack Hilford going after the ball for a quick throw and probably wouldn't have taken it, so it was needless stuff. Yeah, Cole Lowe up off the bench. Welcome in Cole Lowe back, so he's not a bad player to have up well, your sleeve if you need him. Silly mistake, Elliott. No need to do that. And just gives Hawks Bay a chance to really get inside the red zone. So great chance for the Magpies. And let's just see if this big crowd, massive crowd here, get in behind the, the holders. Yes, best opportunity so far. Nearly nine minutes gone first half. Ash Dixon. And uh, nicely dragged down. So trapped in the back by uh, Coman. Just creeping across at the moment. Now they start to get it going. Looking good at the moment. Matthewson says keep it going. Now Matthewson trying to help out. There's the goal line. It's not far away. Guilford also in there briefly. Now they get the second shunt going and just got isolated. Oh, he's got tangled up in his own jersey. I'm not sure he can release that. <laughs> Where's the ball gone? It's in the jersey. It is. And it looks like it's on the county side. And diving in after it there was Michael Allardyce. I think he got himself no, offside though. Five. Well, that was quite bizarre, really. Well, probably the saviour was they actually pulling the jersey off. I think it's Coleman, I think. So that actually helped because they had momentum. It was going to come out there and would have given them quick ball. But in the end, it created the turnover. Elliot redeemed himself a little bit there too, Smithy. That'll be forever the Firth steal that, taking the jersey and the ball at the same time. Jared Firth, brilliant piece of work in the end, and that completely confused everybody. Would have been a great ruling for Jonathan White if they hadn't got the ball out of the jersey. <laughs> Quickly taken by Counties. So they lead by three points to nil. Ball trapped in there by Elliott. August Pulu makes the kick. Guilford waits, not under a lot of pressure. Zach Guilford, in fact, he can set off on a bit of a run. That's the 10 metre line in Hawke's Bay Territory as Matthewson gets it away to West. Now the kick made by Vianu. It's cleverly done too, but uh, equally as well done by Pulu. And he set it up here for Cowdery's Manukau. Here's Stowers with plenty of pace. On the outside goes Sherwin Stowers. And that is a brilliant try for Cowdery's Manukau. Oh, the Steelers have come to play. They haven't had a lot of success at McLean Park, but they've come to centre stage. It's a shield challenge, and Sherwin Stowers has scored a ripper. Absolute outstanding try. The kick through from Vianu, but look at Pulu. Came on in the big super final, and with his explosive speed, he showed it here. The in pass to the ex ex exceptionally quick Stowers. Oh, County's Manukau, you're in. Well, Hawks uh, Bay there. This is brilliant work. Great foresight, too, from August Pulu. See what a great season he's having. Inside again, and Stowers just uh, does Ehi West on the outside. He was looking for the in pass West as well. He didn't cover the outside, and the speed of Sherwin Stowers. County, so great start for the challenges. It really is. Oh, I've seen those chip kicks, and uh, you see it all the time, don't you? And they're a dangerous option. Uh, he can sometimes, as long as he can retrieve it, but it's given this guy, Baden Kerr, 
an opportunity to put the counties, the challengers, out to a 10-0. And no, just to pull it away to the left. Well, he's a brilliant sevens player. We know Sherwin Stowers. He's got all the pace in the world. And he has produced the opening try of this game. We've had 12 and a half minutes and counties lead. Well, they're playing the rugby too. They're having a great start. They're using the ball. You come to challenge for the shield. You've got to play rugby. It's exactly what Conti's Manukau are doing. West. Gives his own team an opportunity to get there, but they don't really challenge at all. Easily taken down by Raymakers. Held in the back by Vaipulu. A bit of a tussle going on. Off it goes now to Fritz Lee. And the skipper. Now it's away from uh, Pulu. And Kerr makes the kick. Claimed by West. Now the kick by Kaka. who has been waiting back for this. No real pressure on the catcher, though, and easily taken by West, and he's a brilliant open field runner, we know that. But Kerr, again, has stayed back. And uh, Cowdies, well, they don't run it from everywhere. Gee, that's a big punt. This might be too big. No, it sits up OK. Just for a moment there, it looked like it might go dead. And Hawks Bay will restart here from the 22. Massive punt, wasn't it, from Counties. Traditional colours, a little bit confusing. The Red Sox are certainly helping, this bar. Yes, they are a little bit similar. So 14 minutes gone. First half here, and West... Kicks it down to Lee. Lee's going to take it hard into contact. And it is, it is contact too. Hawks Bay really competitive there as Apulu sends it off now to Firth. And the big tight head prop. Here now is Kerr. Just looking to free the arms. Couldn't do so. Ball snaffled. Oh, yes, he was onside. Hawks Bay could turn this. They have. And now Matthewson, Vianu, Kaka, back to Vianu. Here's a chance, Matthewson lining up. Now here's Elby Matthewson. Needs to find a, some support, gives it back to Vianu. He in turn finds Kaka and Gillies Kaka. So the two fullbacks have scored early. Well done, the Magpies. You had to strike back. You're under a bit of pressure. Quarter of the game gone. Quarter of an hour. He might have been out, do you think? And okay. you had to strike in your X Factor oh, player, Gillies Kaka. Yeah, They're going to have a look. Let's just no. have a listen to what the tackle. No, what tackle. the call is from the ref. Bruce, you there? So Bruce, the question is to whether a ball, ball carrier may have been out. Um, very close to the touchline in one of those last passing movements. Can you check that, please? So they're looking for Vianu's foot on touch. Is that the? Thank you. They're looking, I think it's uh, Vianu who uh, passed. I don't think it's Kaka. I think Kaka was fine. It was the move just before that. I think it'll be could be close. So that's Kaka with the ball there. And uh, certainly Vianu's out, but the ball carrier at the moment. Oh, did he get rid of it in time? Well, they'll go back now just to see the release. So it's about the boot on the white short and the release of the ball. So the key here, Coach, is the hand is the ball has got to be away from the hand, yeah? Absolutely, Smithy. So if it's contact in the hand, the foot's on the line, then that is out, county's throwing. So that'll be the key. Apart from that, I think it's all fine. This part of the carcass, if it was fine, it's going right back, isn't it? Absolutely. And you can go back. Now, that will be... Uh, that's fine. That's the first one. Is that, how many plays do we go back? Two? Yeah. So it's, it's, the, it's that very first one, isn't it, we're looking at? It's... I think it's all right, isn't that? I think yeah. the ball's out of his hand. That's all right. It's Just right. got rid of it in time. I think the ball's out of his hands. I think it could be this is a try. The 
Let's just have a look at the foot and the release of the ball. So it's the ball going now. Now. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so it's a try. Thank you. So it is a fair try to Gillies Kaka. And they needed it too because the crowd have gone quiet. They'd had a great start from County's Manukau. The turnover from O'Connor. The quick hands here from Kaka. And this is what we've been looking at. But he has released it. Vianu and Kaka's going to loom up again. Matthewson did very well to the halfback. And just the in pass there. And Kaka's going to stroll over. Good timing from the fullback. To be fair, I think the pass to Matthewson might have been worth a look as well. That was very flat. Very flat indeed. However... First kick at goal for Ehi West, and it's in off. There's the conversion from West. Off the post, doesn't matter, as long as it goes between the poles. 8-7 to the challengers. Sixteen gone. It's Kerr with the kickoff. Lined up and taken by Abbott, now West with his clearance, and uh, tidy work by Hawke's Bay. He's impressed me, Ehi West, over the last couple of weeks, not only with his, his speed, the wonderful try he got at Foresight Bar, but also his ability to control his kicking game with the punt around the field. Elliot goes deep this time, Raymakers drags it in, haven't really seen it. A full-blown backline move, and here they go now. As Ray Lilo drops it, but behind him. And County through Lamalu. No, knock on. Last ball, guys. Play scrum. A good defence from a team tackle from Zach Guilford and Richard, Richard Buckman. He was very good last week, Buckman. And just team tackle. And Ray Lilo going for the gap. Right thing to do. But it was a good hit, good shoulder coming in from Guilford. I reckon if he'd offloaded there, Stowers again, it would have been Stowers on West. And uh, he'd already won one of those contests. So just holding yeah. that pass up. Yeah, they, they look. They're coming in too, Smithy, aren't yeah. they? Both wingers, both magpie wingers are coming off their line. And that's, uh, you know, that's always dangerous. You've got to make sure of the timing of your hit. Yes, yeah, been a long time since the glory days of the Ranfilly Shield here in Hawke's Bay. Find. But a couple of the greats that area brought the Shield out today. Smithy, Neil Thimbleby and Blair Furlong. Yep, BD and Furlong. Should uh, have a word too uh, for the current president of the New Zealand Rugby Union, who is uh, Ian McRae, of course, part of that era too, Nisbo. He can't be here. He's on duty for the curtain raiser later tonight. <laughs> Couldn't they organise a helicopter or something, Smithy? They tried. No Did budget. They? No, no budget. Okay. Find. Set. Yes, nine. So, Matthewson. I'm not sure what's happened to the, putting it down the middle of the scrum, but anyway, it seems to have been forgotten for the moment. Number seven. Number seven. Off early. As I'm sure it will be right in the months to come. Stay on longer, Mama Vaipulu. Not bound. That's Fritz Lee, the captain, not him. Vaipulu, the open side flanker, leaving early, not bound, and West a chance to relieve the pressure. Yeah, I think that's a good. Uh, I think that's a good that they're looking for that, the referees, because if you do have to put it in straight, and uh, they can put a a, re a decent go on your put in, then you must at least keep those flankers bound. Otherwise, it becomes a real mess at the back. Fair yeah, cool. Dixon throws. Taken down nicely by the big man, Abbott. Now, this one hasn't gone very far. And it's a free-for-all. And in the finish, Hawks Bay have got themselves offside, but it's in a kickable position as well. Anything in this sort of area, 50 metres or so, Baden Kerr will have a crack. 
Now you've got an option. You can have a scrum back here or a penalty here. Okay, penalty here. All right. Shot. Okay, shot at goal. Come here, please. Just wait a second, Mike. Yeah, well, just hold on. Just an out -out mistake, really, by uh, Albie Matheson not getting the okay. kick deep it's enough. Really Chasers were well okay, advanced. He could have put another 10 it. metres on that kick, and that okay. would have put all his forwards back on top, on side. As soon as it went up, they had to retire. They did not do that. From the minute I put the whistle on now, I'm going to start shutting down that line of communication, OK? So, Fritz, what you're going to understand, is that fair enough? What you're going to understand is you've got a responsibility. I'll let you know. I know, no, no. But I'm going to let you know. You've got a responsibility for that line of communication. If you don't uphold it, yeah. I'll shut it down. Yeah. Fair enough? Yeah. Thank you. There's yeah, been well, a little bit going on this week, hasn't there, around the communication with Fritz Lee, County's Tanarumanga. Here's Komen. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. They're inside the 10. They've got to go back. He's listening to yeah. referee. Wants to set his, yeah. Yeah. He wants to make it very clear. He's in control. Yeah. Good, good refereeing. But, uh, you know, Lee's obviously talking, and he's just saying, no, I'm in control. I will listen to you as captain, but don't yell at me. Let me control the game. Good refereeing. So Kerr's kick certainly got the distance. Oh, that's magnificent again. He really is on target, Baden Kerr. Lands a second penalty goal, and it goes out to 11 to 7. Just the man you want in a shield game, Baden Kerr. Two big penalties from the number 10, and he's going to be a critical element to this county's Manukau effort this afternoon. Great kick. Again, West gets it up really high, and this time it is not controlled by the challengers, and it's knocked on. Another sign of Iha West's excellent ray of skills, the beautiful restart. Counties owning the territory, owning the field battle, but look at Hawks Bay, they're holding onto the ball, 60-30 basically, or 70-30. Zach Milford questioning which way this feed should be going, but uh, clearly he's ruled that there were two knock-ons there. Right. Hawks Bay player uh, was uh, there when the ball parried down off the jumper, and uh, they have ruled, I think it may well have been the number three, Max Laheith. Little blind there for Cunty's Manukau, especially with a player Crouch. like Pulu. Or will they look to use the boot of Baden Kerr? Set. Yes, nine. So Pulu gets it in. And Hawks Bay, good shove. But no twisting it. No, fellas. Clearly, clearly with Willing. So deliberately Walking screwing the scrum. Black. And that's against the law. So penalty goes the way of County's Manukau. He's not happy. Max Laheef. And just wondering where he's pulling back there. And that'll be interesting to see. Just watch the number three from the Magpies. Just seeing when the scrum goes in. And just see the hooks bait turning around there. Deliberate ang angling into the tight head. Elliot throws. Finds his man. Now Pooley gets it off to Kerr. And very flat pass once again. Hooks bait meeting them right on the advantage line. That ball's been turned over. It was untidy from Counties, and now Matthewson bangs it back, but that's an, an ineffectual kick. Now it's good for Stowers. And Guilford coming across the field. This got caught on his boot. Oh, gee, nearly stood on the line as well. And now he can't kick it out directly. So down it goes as far as Arki. Now Kerr, and... Just over West here. He's got Buckman with him. And again, kicks it off the side of the boot, but Kerr seems to be all over the place at the moment, Baden Kerr. And from the safety of the 22, bangs it off downfield. Taken by Vianu. Crowd having a holler at Hawks Bay to have a go here, so Guilford does. And turns it back on the inside to Kaka. They've got some exciting runners. And counties are offside. Oh, uh, just a bit of aimless kicking. Seven. Advancing. And number seven, Viapulu, being penalised a couple of times early in the game. Chance for West to. There he is. If you can get this deep enough, 
Cooch. So if he can get it inside the 22, they may just have another crack. That last drive wasn't so bad. It just held up short of the line. But if he can get it inside that 22, they might just back themselves again. Yeah, they're playing well, counties, aren't they? They're a bit stunned. The Magpies early in this game, and, it's, and it has quite in the crowd. The counties have done exactly what you have to do. Is just just put this big crowd out, keep them quiet. And here is a good opportunity now. Great opportunity for the Hooks Bay. Ash Dixon, good line up for it. Hope they get this one right. Yeah, he's gone short. Oh, you've got to keep it away from that touch line. Combination there with Atkins. Now Matthewson gets it away, and here's Coleman. Lays it back nicely. Matthewson sees a gap. Oh, that's him. So it'll be advantage played. And now the penalty will go. I think it was August Polo coming across. I'm not sure there's too much in it. We've got to keep down, OK? Yes, he's already apologised, but it's probably going to cost his team three points. Yeah, desperate tackle, too high, and right punishment. I mean, the crowd are asking for the double blow of the whistle for a yellow card, but no. You wouldn't want to do a couple of those, August. Well, but that's enough, and he's been penalised, and a chance for West out in front. And Hawks Bay just doing a little bit better at the breakdown, Coops, at this point. I think uh, counties will be a little bit uh, terse. They've turned the ball over three or four occasions now. Just looking to see a bit more of that uh, momentum bit more physical. I think the counties have met them physically early in the game, but Hawks Bay just need to get in behind them, and as you say, I think if they can draw, get some that platform from the line out and get into the 22 and have opportunities like West has got right now. Margin back to one point as West kicks the penalty. And 13 minutes remaining in the first half. But she's tense though, Smithy. You know, it's a little bit more on this game than the normal ITM Cup game. Well, the thing is that counties have just got to stay in touch. They've got to give themselves a chance getting into that final quarter, and they're doing better than that. Nicely taken down here. Here's a big burst coming from uh, Abbott as he turns it up. Now it's with uh, Edmonds. Lays it back for Matthewson. Now West. Good front foot ball here, Buckman. Running back into the heavy traffic, though. There's the man who started it all, Abbott. As West stabs the little kick forward. But uh, the kick is claimed by his guys and not taken by Lee. And uh, Abbott is in there again as Matthewson works it away. Coleman back to Dixon and the hooker. Good strength shown by Ash Dixon. As he gets down towards the 22, now Matthewson again. West. Brady, a poor pass, and here's Guilford. Kick and chase from Guilford, and taken by Stowers and thumped into touch. Just how good's this Mark Abbott? There's been a lot of talk about this lock. Plays for Napier-old boys Maris, 23-year-old, and outstanding piece of play here. Took the ball there, didn't have to jump, but mobile, big man. 197 centimetres and involved about three or four times. Yes, a couple of rookie locks in Mark Abbott and Michael Allardyce. But they are very good value as Dixon throws, and that's Allardyce in the four jersey. Now Matthewson, oh, he threw it straight to Pulu, but it's offside. So here is an opportunity. And it's the first one today for Hawks Bay to actually the hit the front, the front of the game. The oh, I just need to check, it was the first two guys in the back that made the, made the defensive line. Offside, the back of the line out. You're just leaving too early. Shot. Mark Coman, captain, tells Jonathan White we're going for the posts. And a little bit of a momentum swing, the home side. Just getting that territory, it's coming back now to 50-50. Possessions changing to you. Possessions being Hawks Bay, I should say. And an opportunity for West. Not an easy kick. Just on, just outside on that 15, on the outside of the 15 line. About two or three metres back from the 22. And the extra pressure of being the goal kicker. 
in your first Ranfley Shield defence since about the 1969. Same angle, Coops, about the same angle as the conversion at the post, so you may have learned a bit, a bit from that. Another glorious day in Hawke's Bay. And up go the flags, and Hawke's Bay hit the front for the first time in the match. That makes the crowd a little bit more happier. And they've been a bit quiet in the first half an hour. So Kerr gets us going again. And scrapping away there, Allardyce. I think he's got it. Yes, he has. As Matthewson fires it away to West. Now Buckman for Kaka to make the kick. Hawks Bay getting on this quickly, and uh, Stowers gets two or three players, but he's channeled it nicely. Now Pulu's knocked it on in his haste. Playing advantage here as Guilford has it. And Hawks Bay will get it through Matthewson. Lahif, the tight head prop, as it goes to West. Now Brady. A little chip through once again and waiting forever for the bounce and finally getting it. The Stowers, the try scorer, off he goes. This time held by Buckman. Hawks Bay in there contesting it, but not holding their feet. Well, he's a constant danger, Shoe and Stowers. He's slippery, isn't he? Shoe and Stowers, the try scorer early for County's Manukau. Good play. That chipped through again, this time on the ground by Brady. And Stowers had to do a, a lot here to get out of there. Bounced out of Vianu's tackle. Poor tackle from Vianu. He had Frankie Halai just on his right there. Gee, that could have been dangerous. Well, I've been caught three or four times down that touchline, Hawks Bay. With that kick and a, a, a pretty average chase. I don't think the kick was too bad. They had enough opportunity to put pressure on and pin him in that corner. But the, really, they've given Baden Kerr, who is absolutely accurate from this distance he's been superb this is a big kick this is. is right out to about do you swing that around on the old protractor smithy we're talking well over 50 here it's a huge kick well, it's ways timing it keeps i don't think that's an issue it's just the accuracy here and the chance to make that lead very very short-lived And so oh, what a kick again. That is superb from Baden Kerr. And it sends a clear message to Hawks Bay. That's you beautiful. can't afford to infringe. Well, and Sorry, to be fair, they got that in about the second minute. That is a beautiful goal kick. Look at the style of this Baden Kerr head down. Beautiful kicking style. Okay, so the kickoff again, this time deflected in the Hawks Bay side. And here's Coleman in a bit of a gap. Oh, the ball ripped away and he's lost it forward. Now it's with Elliott. He gets rid of it quickly for Halai. And he's got to be watched too, Frank Halai. As it comes to Pulu, fires it across to uh, Kerr. Oh, this is loose in midfield. Lee got it. And it's gone forwards. Yeah, I always wonder about that one too, Nisbo, about the, the actual rip out of, the, of that time. It was advantage counties, but it was ripped by counties and ripped into their direction. So sometimes I would question. I know it's the law that it was a knock on, but uh, maybe sometimes think a little bit uh, hard done by Hawks Bay. Well, here's an ideal opportunity. Got a big blind here. Hawks Bay to have a crack here. They can. Uh, they got uh, a 4 2 split. So two on the right hand side, an opportunity for. Perhaps Big Mark Atkins to go off the back with Matthewson and go right. Yep, we'll go. There's your mark. Here we go. Here we are. Here we are. Connor here on the open side for Hawks Bay. Mark Atkins. Ian Smith mentioned. Quite explosive off the back. Number eight. Crouch. Fine. Set. Yes, nine. Okay, so in it goes. Atkins is going to detach and brings it back to this near side. The counties weren't fooled at all. Now Matthewson 
low. It goes for Abbott. Offside. And offside. Oh, no, against here. Here go. the challengers. Number nine. So West okay, will try and restore the lead. And then the offside line spawned. So That's all well. Pulu, the number nine there, and he was looking at Jonathan White too. He'd come through, he was saying that it was legal, but um, he wanted them out of there. Jonathan White, and that's where he's been penalised. Shot. This is where it happens here. Good defence there, and he's coming through, and he's got to get out of there. He's either go east or west, there's a call. He went straight down south. He can't do that. And penalty to west. Very tight shield game. How's our Hawks Bay Bay Sky commentator down below? Well, <laughs> <laughs> probably the same way as our Hawks Bay born commentator. <laughs> How are you feeling? Yeah, well, you were here in 1967 for the Wellington game, Nisbo. Oh, yes, I'm scarred. Here's West. Hawks Bay looking to get back in front, and yes, they've done it. Oh, he's a good 5-8, this boy, Ehire West. He's hitting the ball beautifully. He's an outstanding prospect. Psychologically, I think the next four minutes are huge here. If Hawks Bay could get ahead again, counties would feel have played enough rugby to be well in front. So the kickoff is made. And again, it's claimed by, oh, he popped it back, at, at least uh, Abbott that time. And here's uh, Vianney making good ground. As Matthewson fires it off to West. And it goes onto the left boot of Gillies Tucker. Shoe and Stowers lines it up. Considers the options, gives it off to uh, Halai, big and strong. Hard to put down. Now Pulu, away for Kerr. And uh, realised there was nothing happening to the left. Gave it off to Jared Firth. And he's going to blow the whistle and penalty. Goes the way of Hawks Bay. Let's have a look at Richard Buckman yeah, in the grubby. 13. He had uh, Frank Alai come at him and his head met, I think, one of those massive thighs. He did not come up too well out of no, that. He was wobbly. I watched him too, Smithy. He was very wobbly. This is where it happened. Halai coming through. Watch Richard Buckman. He got his head on the front side there. He copped it. And then he went back to position. He went he went on the wrong side. He lined, he lined up on the county's team. Hawks play a look at this as an opportunity to get another three points at least. Dixon finds uh, Abbott, who's been really impressive so far in this game. Ball taken up by Brady. Now Matthewson slips the pass to Allardyce. Matthewson again, this time the captain Coleman driven down in a good solid tackle by Cathcart. So they go inside the 22 here and uh, ball's got to be turned over. So Pulu, now can they run out from here? Well, that's a poor kick. Really is a poor kick. Goes straight down to Guilford and he hands it away for West. Now Vianu, and right on the 10 metre line in County's territory as Matthewson lobs it away for Dixon. Now Guilford off to Brady, puts it on the ground and snapped up immediately by Coman. Pops it up to the big number eight, Mark Actons. Now it's Edmonds. The loose head prop. Good play here from Hawks Bay. Allardyce drops the shoulder in right on the 22. Matthewson again. And this time it's Lahith, the tight head prop. Inside the 22 they go. Best build up so far. See, yeah. That was Beth on side there. Nothing was formed. There was nothing formed. Augie, you okay? Well, no they said line. nothing formed. Because Matthewson, really Matthewson wanted to buy that penalty there. I yeah, think that's what Smithy was coming from. I think he comes up here. Watch number nine. 
And watch Firth. He's saying that nothing's full there. It looks like a ruck to me. And look at Firth there. Didn't even come back for the Heimlich. So I think uh, wow. that's a hard call. That's what he's got picked up for there. But I think Matthewson was claiming that Firth was offside. Now yeah, counties have that momentum. Last line out then of this first half. It's been gripping stuff. A try apiece. As Elliott throws deep and off the top it goes. Here's Pulu. Away for Kerr. Into midfield for Fritz Lee. And uh, counties. Again with uh, Pulu. Here is Cathcart. And uh, looking for a penalty, and it goes the other way. Well, he's one of the better players at this. Richard Buckman, the centre for Hawke's Bay, did it last week in Dunedin, and this time he did it on Cathcart. Well played, Richard Buckman. It's gone, has it? It's gone. I think the siren has sounded. Yes, it has. So West puts it into touch. Half time here in the Shield match at McLean Park in Napier. It's been tight and tough, as you'd expect, in a Ranfilly Shield challenge. 16 points to 14. It's a try apiece. The two fullbacks have scored tries. And we're going to have a chat with Adam Cathcart of County's Manukau. And he's down there now with Smithy. Well, Adam, you've done what you wanted to do. You've given yourself a real fighting chance. Yeah, it's a start. 40 minutes, but that's all it is. We all know rugby's got to play your full 80, especially a team like Hawks Bay. They'll come back at you. Discipline looks a big key here. Yeah, I think we're doing everything right. It's just discipline in our own half. Costing us three every time. Good on you, mate. Thank you. Cheers. So there we are, the thoughts of Adam Cathcart. Two tries in the game, one apiece. At halftime, the holders lead by 16 to 14.
Cape Kidnappers, one of the great landmarks around uh, Hawke's Bay. As we head back to McLean Park, and we do have a Titanic Shield struggle going on here. 16 points to 14, the holders in front because uh, they've scored one try and uh, kicked one extra penalty. Kaka and Stowers, the try scorers. And let's go back and review the highlights. And this is the opening try. And look at Pulu here. Outstanding speed from the halfback. And Shulman Stowers, he's just coming in behind the in pass there. And he had to do a little bit to get past West. But he did it in fine style. And that was a great start for Kanti's Manukau. Just went to use the sideline in the in pass there. But look at the in and out. Jeez, he's quick Stowers. Don't give him any room. And that was a chance there. Hawks Bay had their opportunity and tiptoed down the sideline. They had a look at that one later. Vianu and Matthewson did very well. Some line ball passes we talked about, but here it comes there, the short ball to Gillies Kaka. They had a look at that for a while, but Kaka did very well. In the end, he backed up and here he comes. And it's a very good try to Kaka. And that just goes, but when we look at the the numbers there, the dressing rooms of both sides there, Danny Lee on the left talking to the Magpie back line. And they'll be hearing from Tana Rumanga. And the numbers at McLean Park this afternoon. Pretty even, Hawks Bay just leading territory and also the possession. Breakdown 32-23. Missed tackles is a little bit of a worry for County's Manukau. Alongside handling errors, and uh, six to one and if you look at break turnovers as well so they're just making a few many mistakes for them they've got to fix that fix the discipline and they'll be right in the second half it's only 16 14 between hawks bay and counties manukau yes there is a lot at stake in the final 40 minutes of this game hawks bay their first defense of the shield and they lead at half time by just two
Rand Philly Shield Rugby from McLean Park in Napier. The holders, Hawks Bay, leading by two. Let's hear from their assistant coach, Danny Lee. He's with Smithy. Well, Danny, what was the message in there after the first 40? I think the, uh, the biggest key is that we need to relax. Um, the boys are hyped up, obviously. Uh, they need to relax, show a little bit more patience with ball in hand. And I think if we can hold on to the balls through a few phases, we should be fine. But I think they're just a bit hyped up. Discipline a big factor. Both guys kicking well. Yeah, both kickers are on the money today. Uh, um, Baden's obviously kicking them from all over the place, and, and that's killing us, I think. The penalties that we're giving away, keeping them in the game. But uh, you've got 40 more minutes to, to keep things right. Good on you, mate. Thanks, Danny. Cheers. Tremendous little halfback himself, Danny Lee. Ran for his shield. And uh, Smithy, there's a new man. Low. No, yeah. spoke, uh, Carl Lowe, so uh, plenty of experience there. Brilliant player in his own right. And that's for the skipper, Michael Coleman. I'll try and get a word on if that's a, a substitution for strategy or injury. Nisbo, as soon as I can. OK, cheers. Yeah, good man, isn't he? Good man to come on, Carl Lowe. Can hear me? But you don't want to be losing your captain, though. That's the only thing. Baden Kurt looking to set the proceedings off. Second half, the first okay. defence of this new era for Hawke's Bay. Hoping it continues. OK, thanks. Just hold on there. Uh, where's Fritz? Fritz, you're heavy. Carl. OK, well, Carlo might have taken over captaincy here as Baden Kerr makes the kickoff. And at four, dear mistake early on from Abbott. He was so good in the first half, and here's an early opportunity as it snapped up by Tupo for County Smanakau. And uh, Pulu hands it off, and uh, Cathcart rolls away. Now Pulu again, away for Kerr. Uh, Key puts the little kick through, and it sits up for West. Oh, he's a lovely player. Tremendous feat. And away it goes. And if he doesn't finish up with a Super Rugby contract, there is something wrong. Oh, absolutely. Got to be five. You're talking about two or three, five eights to a franchise, and there's 15 of them. He's got to be in that top 15 easy. Got out of that. Hawks Bay, and they got out of it because of our Ehi West. The kick from Bundyaki just a little bit too deep. So Hickory Elliott waiting the call. And uh, he goes deep and he's overthrown this. And Lowe's got a hold of it, but it's... It's been pushed forward by the looks of things off a Hawks Bay hand, so... It's going to be a scrum, County Smanakau. Well, there's the call there from Jonathan White, just a slimy, a, a tiny, uh, tiny tip there, went forward. Great opportunity. Here's the overthrow from Hicker Elliott, and just watch there, just touched it there, I think. Yeah, might have been the half, half back there. All. So an opportunity here for County Smanakau. Great little blind side on this side here, but Frank Press. Halai. There he is, one of the top try scorers in Super Rugby for the Blues. On the far side, set. Tony Pulu. Yes, nine. Good set of backs, counties. Now let's see if they can use them. Here's Kerr, takes it to the line, turns it back inside for Aki. He's got Lilo there, but he's also got Fritz Lee. And Lee takes it down. Pulu works it off. Now here is fullback Stowers. Danger, danger time again. He really has presented Hawks Bay with some problems. And that's a penalty. And uh, it's against Michael Allardyce. Now you're taking the man out before he's picked up the ball. And you're coming on the couple side. of errors there from Allardyce. Firstly with the kickoff at the start of the second half. This time offside. Sherwin Stowers, great on his feet and explosive speed. Picked the right people to take on Ash Dixon. And the penalty coming in from Allardyce. Well, he yeah. saw two props, uh, well, a prop and a hooker coming across, and then another prop and covered a fence, and he got all three with one step. So uh, here's that lead evaporated in no, no time at all. So those words from Danny Lee about being nervous, just doing things well, well they uh, have not really uh, come to pass for Hawke's Bay just yet. Put themselves under a lot of pressure. Here's Kerr. You back him to get this one. Easiest kick he's had all day, Baden Kerr. He's landed three, and he's landed another one. So 17-16, counties back in front. Well, he's just the type of person you need in an intense shield game. Magpie Hunter. 
There's the county's Manukau fans, and there's a few of them that have come down, and good on you, because you're following your team, and I'm sure in the South Auckland area is glued to their televisions, as counties Manukau mount, mount a huge challenge here at McLean Park. Kickoff is claimed by Cathcart. He's a good, solid, blindside flanker, Adam Cathcart. And back it goes. It's been carried back, so they're going to try and run this out through Halai. And a oh, good tackle, very good tackle by Allardyce. Allardyce uh, hanging on. Allardyce is two, and this is up off the ground. So this is a maul. And if Allardyce can win this turnover, and he's going to, well done. Yep, O'Connor as well. Immensely strong, the number seven. Yes, you mentioned South Auckland. Matthew, and your mind goes back to some of the great counties players in years gone by. I've never had the shield as we have a look at uh, Frank Halai. Guys like Andy Dalton, Bruce Robertson. What about Alan Dawson? Jimmy Coe, those sort of fellas. <laughs> Alan Dawson, I remember something at Eden Park. I remember Canterbury, I think 20 all at Lancaster Park. Played 24 in the shield, first one in 1958. And lost 22 and drawn two. But there was a good period between 75 and 1985. Drew twice and lost another five by a combination of 19 points. So we're not going to put any on our county supporters at the moment, but it's uh, they're in with a shot here. They've had some heartache over the years as it's taken out of the back by Atkins. Here's uh, a ball from Matthewson, which was very close to being forward. Brady grabbed it. And there it is again for Matthewson. And now he gets it across to O'Connor. Matthewson now pops it up to Dixon and Ash Dixon as the 22 looms. Now here is Atkins again. Matthewson feeds it up to Abbott. And the ball pops back. Oh, it's untidy. Very untidy for Matthewson. They've somehow managed to control it though as Matthewson hands it up to Lowe. And Carl Lowe, a oh, good man to have on always held up off the ground as well. Well, I don't think that will ever come out. And that will be a turnover ball for County, surely. No, in fact, they've won it clean. And off it goes to Stowers. Works it away into midfield. Turn it back to Kerr. And oh, it's been knocked away from him. So it's all about the tidy. And here's Guilford having a go. Well, County's looked a bit tentative inside their 22. And nearly paid for it. Yeah, I think Baden Koo didn't see the the player, the magpie coming in from behind, swooping in from behind. And there's the impasse there. And oh, it was Adam Brady put the hit on right at the right time when he was going to pass. And look at Zach Guilford, so quick on his feet, looking for an opportunity. The magpies inside the red zone. Line out drive here, maybe. So the early jump, oh, heavens above. He was on his way down, he'd landed. The right, eagle had landed. Yeah, I've got to roll up. Hey, just step away. The magpie. Just, go. <laughs> step away, guys. Yeah, a little bit of tension. Guys, you just watch the timing by miles. Early lift, okay? Early Great lift tackle. is the call from Jonathan White. He's up there. The ball hasn't come in. He's on the way down as Grant Nisbet called it. And a chance for Baden Kerr. He's been excellent today. So the penalty takes play back towards halfway. We've been going seven minutes in the second half. This lead has swapped so many times. Oh, we've got drama. There'll be drama here at McLean Park. This is going to be another Shield Classic. Now Dixon, he gets this one right, throws it to Allardyce as Matthewson works it across. And Hawks Bay through Buckman. He's very good in the offload, Buckman. It didn't free the arms that time, though. Matthewson for West and runs into his opposite number and Kerr puts him down as Matthewson goes very flat to Atkins again. Now he works it off to Allardyce. Well read, though, by left-winger Tony Pulut and won't come out of there, so they'll put a scrum down. Well done, Tony Pulut. A lot of complaining here in the 18,000 sold out, sold out crowd, but he did it right. He timed it right. The, the ball the over line. the top, and it was a scrum feed. Okay. I'll roll Carlo, I'll roll just to checking with referee around that. Good timing from Pulu on the ground. Pretty hard to get moved from there. Tried to scrum feed Magpies. Yeah. 
Well, they've got one of their danger runners uh, in Vianu, just uh, stationed to the left shoulder of Ihoa West. Yellow books there. Crouch. Find. Set. Yes, nine. That's clean. Matthewson gets it in and snapped off the back. The scrum wasn't all that stable, though, from uh, Atkins' point of view, but it's still there. And Dixon moves it off to Abbott. Good solid defence, though, by Counties and Abbott. With some difficulty, puts it back on the Hawks Bay side. Now it's Allardyce. Trying to hold him up off the ground. Now he's got it down as Matthewson serves it up to West. Now Buckman. Oh, big defence on him by Arki. And Cowdy's walking over the top of it, and off goes Kerr. It's been a bit untidy around that ruck and mall area. Both teams leaving the ball unprotected. No advantage, guys. Lost forward. And it was a knock on, lost forward, and it looks like a change coming up here. Well, there's Bundy Arkey, number 17, Sam Iono coming on. But Bundy Arkey, you need some big plays. Good defence, side on defence on Buckman. Hit him hard, knocked him over, created the turnover. Well done, Arkey. So the veteran Lemalu is off. Iono is into the front row on this near side, this loose head side. So what do they do, counties, Manukau? Do they look for territory, keep the ball in hand, putting it back on the holder? Pressure just starts to build a little nine. bit, the 50th minute. So you, do you put Six. it back inside their territory? Yes, nine. And just see what they do. The pressure's just starting to mount just a little. Good stable scrum, though. And Kerr. See that, guys? Yep. Lining it up. And what's oh, a well-weighted kick. Ball landed just in... Uh, as Kaka took it and he flung it away. No team out. Now, now? this will be a struggle for Kerr to get to, but he's all over the place today, oh, Baden Kerr, and oh. he makes a mistake, a rare mistake. He was just hurried a little onto the left boot, and Hawks Bay win that little battle. And that was pressure too from Hawks Bay okay, with the kick through, and nice, nice chase there from Hawks Bay. Another change to uh, coming up here for Kandis Manukau. So 19 player for them, uh, and that is uh, Sean Reedy, and that'll be for Ma'ami Baipolu. Red, move down, guys, please. Now chance, Ash Dixon. He's got to push. He's telling Pulu to go back, the Kandis half back. Dixon in for the line-out. Hawks Bay on attack. Hawks Bay win the line-out nicely, and off it goes to, to West. Here's Buckman. Drops the pass off to Low, and he almost got through the tackle there of Arki. There it is again for West. First receiver this time, Matthewson, as uh, they fire it on now. Vianu, Elliot over the ball, trying to turn it over, not able to do so though. Matthewson away it goes again to midfield to West, and turn fired on by O'Connor. Here's a good run. Well, who's going to break it? Who's going to take a risk? And it's the Hawks Bay number eight, Mark Atkins. Very impressive player. Off the back, he's quick for a big man. And he decided to take on the defence. It's been very tight tonight. Look at the wide ball here. It's into Atkins' hand, and he gets on the outside of Baden Kerr. Went too low. Too quick. Pick the right guy there, Mark Atkins. Great try, Smithy. Yeah, transfer from West to O'Connor. Good pass from O'Connor. Just coming across, uh, he had uh, on the inside, he had Baden Kerr coming across on the outside. He had Ray Lilo, who was covering the man outside him. And uh, son of Dale Atkins, I bet the old man's pretty chuffed about that. Oh, a big try. heritage in this uh, Hawks Bay side going back a few years. And uh, I've got to say, is that the game breaker? That's right, Smither. You look for moments. It's all about who's going to take it. Everyone's getting a little bit, taking a bit, 
Uh, get quiet but tense. Someone has to take a risk. And that time there, Atkins decided to take on the defence, pick the right ga angle, the right gap. And that is, at the 53-minute mark, a critical, could that be that critical turning point? Hawks Bay have their best lead of the game so far as West tries to add to that lead. He can't. So it's a four-point advantage on the back of that try. And you really have to call it an individual try, but he just uh, decided to go. Kerr flailed at him, but Atkins scores. Yeah, not, not his best piece of work, Baden Kerr, uh, but well read by Atkins. County's Manukau, you must respond. This is your, your big game here. You've got a great opportunity. Chris Eaton for Albie Matthewson at halfback for Hawke's Bay. Come on. So, the kickoff. And this time deflect, deflected by Abbott on the Hawke's Bay side. So, Chris Eaton. Plenty of super rugby experience for him as well. So, a very good replacement to have. Gets a lot of height into this. Lee waits back. Uh, rough pass. Uh, Stowers. Unusual to see Stowers kicking a lot. Oh, that's an air shot from Zach Guilford. I don't think he got anything on that. As Eaton moves it across. Eaton now for West. Driving it towards the corner. And, oh, no got the angle wrong and so they'll have to go oh, no. <laughs> we're down all right in the finish we've got a remote control on that ball ehi west he knows every blade of grass at mclean park and hawks bay will get possession again from the baden kerr restart Twenty-five remaining. As Kerr makes the big kick, sits up nicely for West this time. Here's Guilford. Guilford starting a counter and almost got through. Then he's fired it away. In the heat of the battle, the jerseys probably look quite similar. Here's Elliot. Now Kerr. One for County's Manukau to run on to. And up there contesting and uh, nicely taken down by Stowers. Another kick. And this one's finding space. And it's uh, a well-directed kick from Augustin Pulu. Just looking at Baden Kerr and back play. After he made that kick, he came down very awkwardly. He's got his uh, left leg heavily bandaged. So just to keep an eye on the County's playmaker there, Pivot. It's a bit sore. Nice play too, Smithy, from... Augustin Pulu, just again, he knew that they were they were short. It was quick second phase, just put it over the top. Now they have to attack the Hawks Bay line out. Dixon throws. Oh, not good. And here's Pulu. He's got an opportunity. Got it away to Firth. And this is a real chance here for County's Manukau. And up goes the big charge from Iono. And County's looking to recycle this they'll have another go Firth assisted by his skipper Fritz Lee here's uh, Cathcart having a go he's got the arm out and uh, County's go again Kerr gets it away Arki trying to hold his man at arm's length Gillies Karka holds on to him there's a penalty advantage and back they go and this should be a gift three points which will take us back to another one point game Offside. Well, another moment, and I think Gillies Karka, Richard Buckman, lucky you held Arkey up because that looked really dangerous for the Hawks Bay team. Over the back, Ash Dixon's throw, and good play again from, from Firth, who's been excellent in the front row for counties. Hawks Bay's line out today Three by ball. their standards has been very, very average. Number of uh, poor throws, a uh, number of miscommunications and it's put them in all sorts of trouble and now counties who could have taken the easy three Boy, they got to win it this is a, a call and a half isn't it oh big call and uh, not even an hour until they've still got a three minutes to go for it before we've got uh, we hit the last quarter shield games are won by penalties or drop goals and with 20 minutes to go Fritz, well, I think I would have gone for the for the post. Well, Fritz might back himself because he's going to be the man at the back of the scrum and he's got an opportunity to go right if he wants to. And he 
He's got a little bit of speed and Stowers and Halai outside yeah, him over he there. Has. He has, Smithy. Look at that top end there. Hawks Bay have just covered that. They've got a three-man defensive Crouch. line up on that uh, goal line over to the left. Finds. Set. Well, the arm came down and he'll have to reset that. New loose head prop on this near side, Sam Iono, and hand on the ground. Nine, nine, just wait for me, please. Yeah. Nine, nine, come, please. So for that just man wait, wait. there, you want a pretty quick heel, don't you? You want to get into his, it needs to be a quick hook from Re, uh, from Elliot. Got the wrong hicker. And, and you want Crouch. to get Fritz Lee off the back for that corner, charging at the back because he's explosive. He's the Six. captain. He wants to lead this team it's nine. Home. Okay, so in it goes. Now Lee, he got away to Pulu, and Pulu drops the pass up. Almost intercepted by West. But he's grabbed it anyway. And now Eaton slams it away downfield as hard as he can. And that's a very good kick. And now counties have got to start all over again. Through fullback Stowers. Gave it away to Halai. Now it's Kerr. As they try and probe in midfield. Through left winger Pulu that's Tony Pulu this is August Pulu away for Lee so inside their own half now Cowdy's Manukau and Hawks Bay and Fringe well I just about think that Kirk could kick this but I suppose it's ridiculous having turned down an easy one <laughs> No, I think he gave for territory now, but he could do. And uh, Chris Eaton, number 20, great kick from Chris Eaton there once they got the turnover, Hawks Bay. Geez, he can boot a ball. And here's the... That's the play here, and it didn't, just a little bit disrupted. Eaton did well too, and the pass went to ground there from Augusta Pullo. Geez, you wouldn't want to give an open break there for Ehi West because he's got wheels. A couple of changes, Smithy. Yep. Changes in the front row, change of uh, hooker. So Jed Robinson on and uh, Jersey 16, and it's for Ash Dixon and 17, Adrian Ver Veroni in 17. And uh, County's going to have a go as well in their back line. So uh, they've got Asi Tuala and Jersey 21 on, and that's for Tony Pulu. Yeah, good player too. Just have a look at Frank Halai, just by Baden Kerr, the big blues winger. I haven't seen a lot of them tonight. Oh, wow. So the line out is won by Tupo. And uh, here is a good charging run. And that's held up nicely for August Pulu. Now it's with Lee. Trying to crunch his way through the tackle of O'Connor. Pulu just stumbled for the moment. Dropped the pass off beautifully, but. Oh, unlucky. First. Well, the short reading. Number three. Yeah, Jared Firth, and he, he went in behind them to create the pass, which would have been a special try, wouldn't it? Under the post in a shield game with a 20 minutes to go. But no, correct call from Jonathan White and Hawks Bay get out of that danger zone they've got a four-point lead and we enter the last quarter well, a change at halfback uh, so august pulu is going to be replaced by kane hansi now there's a bike's been around for a long long time and 18 also going on uh, sakeli number jersey 18. jimmy tupo so tana Rumanga is emptying the bench as eaton takes it away with west in the midfield it goes Buckman taken down on the tackle of Kerr. Now West away for Kaka. As Eaton clears it. It's picked up by O'Connor. And a charge by Edmonds. Change of direction here. West moves it back for Guilford. But there's no way through there for Zach Guilford. So Eaton. Feeds it up to Kaka. 
Elise Kaka, the first try scorer for Hooks Bay today. Now it's gone loose and oh, penalty. Suddenly the ball emerged. And Frank Halley was off. But it was done illegally by counties. So we'll just have a look at the hands here. And there is the tackle there, saying there's some illegal hands coming through. It'll pop out. He's got the captain while he's on the ground, Fritz Lee. And this is quite important. This is a very, any kick's important, but in a shield game, when you've got a four-point lead and you're in the last quarter, if you get three here, that means the county's Manukau will have to score twice if they want to take the shield because it'll make it a seven-point gap. A draw is not good enough, or a draw, sorry, is good enough for the Magpies to hold the log. I'm sure there's a two couple of teams at the moment. Northland would be the next team to play at McLean Park, and I'm sure there's quite an interested Taranaki side who would have the opportunity in a week's time if it was at Ecolite. So, big kick, and no. He's put it there. Three times, two times, hasn't he? And Baden Kerr put one on that side, two to the left, too, Smithy. Yeah, they're big kicks, aren't they? So, uh, he'll be feeling that, but uh, he's got to hang in there. Just to 21 years of age, absorb that, suck it up. There'll be another chance, you know, just around the corner at some point. There it is. Is it staying? Is it going? Gee, it's had a good month, hasn't it, this Ranfley Shield? He's uh, caused a lot of interest around the country. Certainly racked up some emails, hasn't it? It sure has. <laughs> Now Kerr, down as far as Buckman, and Richard Buckman feeds it up to Zach Guilford, always prepared to have a go at the defence. Zach Guilford, Eaton waits. And up it goes, Jed Robinson. Good depth in the squad here at Hawke's Bay, when you can bring players like that on, here's West. Off it goes to the big man Atkins, who cut this game open a few minutes ago. And uh, counties have forced the Hawks Bay player across the touchline. You just get the feeling counties need to involve some of these guys like Frank Halley. They've got to take a risk now in this boat. Uh, Shield rugby, if you want to win it, you've got to go out and attack. And that's the game now for counties. You've got to take a risk now. Just playing the normal style, normal game plan. Who's going to spark it? Is it going to be Halai? Will it be Elliot? Who's going to take the, the step to win the Shield for counties? Elliot throws, taken down by Raymakers. Now Hensi gets it off and on the charge goes Lee. Hensi working blindside through Elliot. Not and truly cut down. Hensi again working their way up towards halfway. The old fashioned dive pass. And Kerr gets it up nice and high. And uh, West was a bit tentative, didn't quite. But in fact, it was knocked on by Counties Manukau. Uh, Key came away with it, but it was lost forward in contact by Counties. Needed to go high, needed to leave the ground, the chasers, and just own the ball. And there it is there, the kick coming up there. Ehi West, good stuff, Ehi West, looking at the ball. The knock on there and opportunity for possession and more importantly territory from from the magpies 16 for two so uh, this will be an interesting reception hicker elliott leaving the park siliasi tolfa lele in jersey 16 and in the front row too they've uh, made a change with firth coming off and simon lamalu going back on yeah so he did a shift on the bench Fourteen Crouch. remaining at McLean Park. Find. Four in it. Set. Yes, nine. Eaton. Atkins. Off it goes now to West. Easily controlled. For counties by Tuala. Another high kick. West's gone down, but I think it's OK. Halai did really well, as Hansi has it. And he bangs it off down with his left boot. 
Down to Guilford. And it's offside play against Counties here from the kick. And uh, what a good kick that is. Well, he's decided, Jonathan White, that that advantage down near the corner flag is not quite the one that he wanted. And he's going for the penalty. And uh, that is right out in front. <laughs> he's, he's, he's telling Jonathan White, so do you want this or the other one? I actually think that a five-metre line-out drive might be quite attractive, but in front, Ehi West taking, would, the, taking the three-pointer. Wouldn't have been their ball, though, would it? That's right. Yes, well called, Grant. So they've got the, uh, they've got the opportunity to extend it to seven points. Not wasting any time here. He hire West. He's been good. I like the cut of he hire West. Uh, big, this is a big game for him too. Great learning. The goal kicker, the playmaker for the Magpies in their first shield defence. So here's the kick, and this time he does it. You see on the faces of the pack, McLean Park, just a little bit of ease there, but still not a lot though. <laughs> well, a key moment here, Baden Kerr is off, so their, their pivot, their goal kicker, their everything really in terms of tactics is gone. Sam Barker and Jersey 22 replacing him. Well, he's done a good job while he's been there. So the restart is a long way down. And uh, snapped up by Atkins. Just running a bit upright, really. An easy meet for the county's Manukau players. Now West. And oh, a lovely kick, this. Fantastic kick. Fired in by Lee. And the counter-attack here comes Stowers. Look at the pace from Sherwin Stowers. Now can he line up some support acts? Gives it away. And uh, a try. Uh, uh, it's uh, Vaka just short of the line. Now Hensi. And playing advantage. And here's a big opportunity. Hensi, here's Lamalu, the veteran, driving. Held up easily, though, and the referee is still playing advantage, and they're going to get it back. Looks like it is coming back, and good, strong run there by Nabu. Hansi waits. Now Stowers. We've got some good players out wide. Can they free it up? And a try in the corner. It's scored by Sean Reedy. Well, well, well. They've come back into it, and it all sparked by Sherwin Stowers again. Oh, County's Manukau, outstanding. There he is, Sean Reedy, the try scorer, but you caught it in his bow. Go back, take a bow, fullback Sherwin Stowers, outstanding. There are the supporters. There's a big kick coming up. Brett Baden Kerr's off the field. Look at the hands there, some beautiful hands there. And it was number 21 there to Arla. Outstanding hand, Smithy. Yeah, that was the easy part, wasn't it? The finishing. We should really go back to what started it. And that was an excellent kick from Ehi West. But Counties Manukau trusting themselves, not kicking, having a crack. And that perhaps was what they should have been doing a little bit earlier. But they've got, got it right now. And that run, we've got to see it again, was absolutely fantastic. So the conversion attempt is away from Tuala. But they've got themselves back to within a penalty. And we've got nine to go. Trent Boswell, Wakefield and Jersey 18. And that is for Mark Atkins. How good is Ranfley Shield rugby? <laughs> How good is this? Here he is, Sherwin Stowers. You've been outstanding all night. Look at this, dodging. Big Fritz Lee on the outside. Oh, brilliant Sherwin Stowers. Okay, the kickoff. 
This is going to be tense. Eight and a half to go as it's crashed up by Cathcart. Hansi, oh, hesitation. And in the finish, unloads the big left-footed kick down as far as West. Drop kick. Oh, dear. Not the best. Yeah, now here's Halai. And oh, there's an injured player. The man who made the tackle didn't come out of that too well. Right. Yeah. There it is for counties. Well, they can throw everything at it now. Just don't panic. Just take your time. Get it into the playmaker's hands. They've still got a very good midfield here. And uh, back on the inside it goes. And here is a run from Tuala. Hansi gets it again. Now up the centre goes Raymakers. Hansi once more. Awkward pass, but nicely hauled in by Stowers. Numbers, numbers. Just got to hand it on. And here's the try scorer. Sean Reedy sets again, Hansi. Now Lilo moves it on to Arki. Bundy Arki slips the pass. And here's Tafalelo. Oh, dear. Oh, he, hold on to, he just held on to it a little bit longer. Tafalili, I think he had the speed merchant on the outside, Smithy. <laughs> well, well, big decisions at big times. He busted through a tackle here. He did, he did just well. absolutely bruised through Vainu. If he had just held on and drawn Gilly's Kaka, I think he was away. So uh, we'll just have a, an injury here for Edmonds, Brendan Edmonds. Right shoulder for him. Dodged a bullet there, Hawks Bay. Need a better line out. Oh, there's another one there. That was that injury. That just the head on the wrong side. Jed Robinson throws, and it's taken down nicely by Allardyce. O'Connor's got it, along with Lowe. Just trying to slow the game down a little now. It's frenetic from Counties as Eaton gets good distance. And going back after this is uh, Varka. Yes, Stowers. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Big Frank. Now, Halloy, when he starts to put the pace on, he's dangerous. Here's Stowers. He's going right up into the action now. He's in the front line. They need a halfback. And hence, he's there. Off to Lilo. Now, Hansi frees it away to Lee. There's a few walking wounded now. The pace of this game is starting to take its toll. Six and a half left. And Tafalele again. Good, strong good surge. Run. Yep, almost to the 22. Calling for runners and finding Iono. Now Hansi. Lee's just got off the ground. He's taken another one up. Discipline, Hawks Bay. Just peppering away here. Now it comes out once again to the big man in the 18 jersey. Diving and now who scores the try? It was all done in slow motion, but counties are back in front. Are you the hero, Sakali Nabu? Could he be just written into the chapter of the famous log of wood? What a try to counties Manukau. They went out wide there. Sarah and Stowers, the playmaker. Here he is, Nabu. Too strong, too big. Wow, what Hawks a try. Hawks Bay's tackling today has not been great. And here's Adam Brady falling off this one here. It was his man, the only was start getting his man outside, and that was the right thing to do. Busted through Brady. So this kick uh, becomes important too, because this will take it out past the three-point margin. Gee, I'll bet they wish they could just drag Baden Kerr out of that dugout there. <laughs> the <pivot. laughs> there it is. Well, it gives them a chance, Hawks Bay, just to go down and get a penalty or a drop goal and draw level if this kick doesn't go over. This is massive. Think of the history. Play 24 since 1958. Lost 22, drawn two. Counties Manukau. Tuala. And his kick is away. Drop goal time for the Magpies. If you want to keep that wonderful, probably the best domestic trophy in world rugby.
in the Hawks Bay. Well, the heat goes on. Jonathan White here, he's a cool customer, the referee. Hawks Bay got to get hands on the ball first. Drama. Four minutes left as the kickoff is made and claimed by Raymakers. Hatsy makes the kick. Hawks Bay under pressure. Counties looking to step over the top here. O'Connor managed to channel it back and now Eaton. Now they really have the chance to run to get it down the other end and good run by Buckman as Eaton gets it away to Robinson driven down by Ronald Raymakers Eaton again absolute desperation now from Hawks Bay here is a chance from big Mark Abbott he's had a strong game now they're in the right place in uh, County's Manukau territory and uh, it's the challengers having to make the tackles as we come down to the three minute mark in the game as West gets it off to Gillies Kaka. Keen to get him over towards the touchline. County's Manukau. Eaton gets there again, frees it up. West out of the centre field for Guilford. Fires it off to Buckman. Buckman taken down by the try scorer, Nabu. And it's going to come eventually. Very much weary now of not giving away a penalty. County's Manukau. Rushing in there is uh, Vianu. It's West. As it's two and a half remaining. Robinson slowly working their way down. Eaton now. West across to Guilford. Vianu. Ten phases in his boat. Play continues. Got to use it quickly as Eaton sends it up. Oh, nice offload. Got it away to Robinson. Did Abbott. Ball is loose. Tipped into midfield. Now it's uh, away with O'Connor. Taking Great a tackle, good tackle. Halloy. Yeah, Great very... tackle, Halloy. Oh, yeah. Running into it. And they get the penalty. And you'd think they'd won the game looking at the bench from counties. They've gone absolutely crazy. Adrian Baroni, he was the person leaving his feet. The lineup will still play. Just coming in there. That's the that's where it came across here. There's O'Connor getting isolated. In Smith caught it. Fantastic tackle, Halai. So counties haven't kicked it out. They've decided they're going to try and kill this game off. They won't kick it again, you wouldn't think. They're just going to go to a series of rucks if they can. Hey, no, please! Just a minute to go. They've got to be careful they don't infringe themselves here. What drama here at McLean Park in Napier. Oh, that's not the final hooter. Kane Hansey thought that someone blowing a trumpet he was the final hooter. It I think. wasn't the hooter. He, no. Oh. That could have been a disaster. It's it hasn't gone yet either. Place. I hope someone's told him. He's going to put it out. No. No, not yet. Oh, I don't know whether it is. Anyway, it's been kicked into touch. Yes, it is. And that is history as counties win the shield for the very first time. Attempts and counties Manukau, you are now the new Rantfully Shield holders. Outstanding, outstanding men. Be very proud, counties Manukau. Be very proud in South Auckland. You are now have the famous log of wood heading north. Your team will be home tomorrow with the prize log of wood. Look at the, look at the despair. Two sides to every story. Despair in one camp, the Hawke's Bay camp. Jubilation in the other. 
A six-day reign is over in counties after years of heartbreak and despair have won the shield. There's the team. There's Aki. This is special. This is special for County's Monica. Special again for New Zealand rugby. Look at that. Magnificent men. Magnificent team. Let's not forget the role of Tana Umanga, a great All Black, a great All Black captain. And now the coach of a side that has won the Ranfurly Shield. Let's hear from Fritz Lee with Smithy. I'm going to grab Fritz Lee if I can. Everyone else wants to kiss and hug him at the moment, no wonder. And I'm sure there's a big crowd around South Auckland and all that area. Congratulations. You've just made history, mate. Exactly. Um, can't even say anything, eh? Just... Uh, Credit to the boys, they fought hard. We had to chase the game and we came back and obviously you see the result. And uh, credit to the boys, like they work hard. We had a short turn around and it's all attitude. And uh, I told the boys, you got to turn up to play. Or else you're going to go back home with nothing. Great spirit. You fell behind, you went in front, you fell behind. You had the wherewithal to come back. Will that effort off the bench as well? Yeah, exactly. Um, that's the depth that we have in our, in, in our squad as well. And credit to Tana, he worked hard. He did um, everything that he could to uh, prepare us for this game. And we did it for our families and uh, our supporters as well. We're a small, small community, but with the heart of the, uh, the boys, like I said before, it's credit to them. I think it's going to be a very big community when you get back home with that piece of wood. Exactly. Well, it's the first time we won it, so um, we're expecting some big crowds uh, back in Pukki. OK, mate, we'll, uh, we'll get you to that in your hands very shortly. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Cheers. Thank you. Well, Tana Umanga is out there. That is fantastic. Cowdies Manukau win the Ranfilly Shield. And they win it 27 to 24. What's up, will you? Now, what's going on, Frank? We've already talked to Fritz Lee, haven't we? Hey, listen. Hey! I'm going! 
Sorry, Matt. Sorry, Matt. I don't watch much of this. A wonderful scenes here at McLean Park in Napier tonight and they're dancing on the field they'll be dancing in the streets of South Auckland as well as counties win the Ranfilly Shield for the very first time in their history going back to the mid 1950s and they did outscore Hawke's Bay by three, three tries, tries to, two to two in the finish the goal kicking from both sides was very good indeed but county scored that late try to give them the Ranfilly Shield now let's go to Ian Smith on the field Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional handing over of New Zealand's most famous sporting trophy. It goes to its fourth home in such a short space of time, but it, the magic that it's been around the province since it's been around, I'm sure it's going to get a great welcome when it gets back to South Auckland and those areas that now belongs to. Can I just have a quick word uh, with Mike Coman? I'm sure you'd want to thank your fans. Yeah, uh, just a massive thank you to all of Hawke's Bay. Uh, it's been an unreal, albeit short time in the Hawke's Bay, but... Uh, Thank you for your huge support. Uh, the crowd today, it was unbelievable. Um, we're just sorry we couldn't uh, perform a better for you today, but uh, all credit to Counties and Fritz. Uh, played well today, and uh, they're going to have a hell of a few days of it. So, uh, yeah, well done. And then, once again, thank you, Hawks Bay, and uh, sorry we couldn't produce a, a bit of better performance. Thanks very much, Mike. If you'd like to go forward, uh, we've already spoken to you, Fritz. There's only one thing you want, I know. So go and get it, boy. Fritz Lee, Counties Manukau, the new holders of the Ranfilly Shield. That's what the Ranfilly Shield means. Tana Umanga, one of the great All Blacks, never managed to get it as a player. And now he has achieved it as a second-year coach with Cardi's Manukau. And this is how it happened right at the end. Oh, big play, and you needed a big player. And Nabu, you've just written yourself into the history of the Ranfilly Shield. The winning try, and look at the celebrations. It was a great challenge from County's Manukau. They came to play. Sharon Stowers, a hero, Pulu. Aki, and look at their fans who have come down. So all people in Counties Manukau get to Pukekohe Stadium when that shield returns. A long bus trip back, but I'm sure it's going to be a good bus trip. Yes, I'm sure it will be. And of course, their first defence will be next Sunday against uh, Taranaki. So it'll be a full house, no doubt, at Pukekohe. But the shield will do the tour, I'm sure, in the intervening time. So Counties Manukau are the new holders of the Ranfilly Shield and of course later tonight we can look forward to the All Black Test match against Argentina and that'll be followed by of course Australia against South Africa boy there is some rugby to come in the rugby championship that is tonight of course the All Blacks against the Pumas 
the Wallabies against the Springboks. And uh, then the ITM Cup will continue tomorrow. Palmerston North, Manawa 2 against North Harbour and Northland against Wellington. But the weekend so far belongs to Counties Manukau. They are the new holders of the famous Ranfilly Shield.